What's cracking, big dogs? <laughs> Welcome back to the studio. It's your man's Nicholas. We got snacks in the, in the building and we got animal. I come to you humbly, depressed, sad, miserable. Alone. I was scared. I was scared of being a nobody. We're going into week 16, but the night is not over yet. We have to let you know what kind of bullshit transpired in the E-Town Get Down Fantasy Football League this weekend. There was plenty of it. So much bullshit. Have you ever seen a worse week of NFL football? No, we were talking about that yeah. off the air. I, I've never seen an uglier week of football. Fantasy and actual football itself. How ugly could it get? I stopped watching at like 2.30. Uh, I wish I could stop watching. A lot I watched watch that Giants game to the last second. A lot of people with broken hearts out there. I don't feel good whatsoever. My therapist is going uh, to make a lot of money this weekend. Yeah, and it's funny how the tides have turned because Max sat here last week. Now, a, I, now I feel with bad. With a 40, yeah. 45 caliber bullet to his head. <laughs> you, guys, it's like, you guys weren't the nicest either, so. I disagree. We, we were here to support. That's no, I it. just shat on your face yeah, like, really. all last week, and it was two on one. At least now I like you and me are together as fucking L's while he's locked it up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it must feel good. How do you feel? Right now, actually. Real lock, quick. One lock. word. Give us an adjective. Yeah, starting with L, ending with K. Two letters in between. Let me help mm. you out. Bells lock. Lick That's not my that. fucking balls. <laughs> Shit, shut up. Okay. Enough. Okay, we're going to dive into the recap. Because by the time you guys see this, I'm going to be out of the fucking playoffs because of these two assholes. So we're going to dive into the recaps. And if you couldn't have already told by, uh, by the tone, by my attitude. We're throwing well, screen passes to the backup quarterback. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> not, not we got him watching, watching Monday Night that. Football because his game lies on it. We, you know what? This is actually your fault. You shouldn't be watching it because we said we we're gonna start at fucking seven o'clock, so that this I didn't could, happen for I this could, fucking reason. I couldn't help it. So well, we're just gonna pull up my matchup, and I'm gonna show you how I got fucking shit on. We saw the real Philip Lindsay. He's a fraud. Travis Kelsey, fraud. Aaron Jones, fraud. Andrew Luck, fucking fraud. Pat Mahomes, you were the highest scorer on my team. With yeah, 18. that was bad. That's bad. That's really bad. I didn't even realize that until right now. Uh, well, this honestly could be my fault because I. Sat, sat David Johnson. I sat David Johnson. <laughs> I'd do it again. I'd do it again. I would too. You were not. You not only sat him. You were excited. Ecstatic. I'm were still so excited. Pumped like I hope David him. Johnson got the fucking. I hope he got that through his head. I hope that went to his heart. I hope he saw this, and he was like, "Wow, everyone hates me." Huh? Yeah, he's definitely a fan. It was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. Dude, like <laughs> natural. I mean, then it probably wouldn't have. It. Yeah, it, it might have, dude. Because oh, yeah, C Mac right. would have needed C Mac shut down. Yeah. Yeah, and also me telling Joe to play Atlanta over. So Joe, who I was playing against, asked me who I wanted him to play as a defense, Atlanta or the Rams. And I thought he was going to do whatever I didn't want to do. I thought he was just going to play the Rams regardless because I thought that was a better play. Psychology. Yeah, I didn't think what I, I was just like play Atlanta. You fucking bitch and he played atlanta and and uh they scored 20 points and the rams scored did he already drop the rams they're not even on yeah I, I don't see him on his roster okay well he had the I, i'm pretty sure i looked today and they scored one point so can i ask you guys like if he gave you the option who would you have told him to start like the rams were going to be at home coming off a big loss so i figured they'd be ready against, to roll against Foles, who hasn't against played Foles. in 13 weeks right and the rams are getting back to well they i thought they would be getting back to form and it was like atlanta like atlanta sucks you can't trust atlanta's on defense thing. i i would have said yeah, the I same mean, thing. go back and look at atlanta's previous scores on defense before this game 11 points was the most they have had yeah, yeah. they scored negative points multiple times <laughs> yeah, and going against the cardinals i don't even think it would have mattered i would have like this still... couldn't have been and it, it was the worst the worst fucking part about it is like yeah. i couldn't even root for atlanta like it wasn't a win-win where it's like oh they beat me in fantasy but like yeah. the falcons got a fucking win it was like it was multiple yeah, daggers he was over. shooting a fucking machine gun at me basically at this yeah, point between yeah. ryan ryan turns into cam newton's getting fucking rushing yards Damn, rushing dude. points yes had seven sacks seven sacks and a, a touchdown touchdown when yeah, I saw the touchdown, touchdown going to, it was like I couldn't watch fumble that game. recovery yeah. and inter two interceptions. And what, what, what's even killer oh. worse is I I look at it now and Barkley had seven points. You know, like, like how am I not going to cap? And coming off the uh, Thursday night or the Saturday night game when he had the three Browns, Njoku, Landry, and Baker did not they yeah. did not combine for twenty. I'm like, dude, I'm you know I'm feeling good now. I felt horrible after Thursday night, then I felt good after Saturday. Man. Sunday took a yeah, shit man, on your chest. Rough. Everything about that fucking game. Yeah, the David Johnson thing. I, I I can't. I really don't regret that. I don't regret sitting David Johnson. I mean, we, now I do, but like yeah, I don't sit back and be like, oh, I should have. Like, fuck David Johnson. You can't go behind the twenty. We were in agreement too that who are you gonna play David Johnson over here? I probably should have done over Aaron Jones, I guess. No, I mean, you. We knew what you were getting with Aaron Jones. Yeah. If he doesn't get hurt, he's gonna get the, the only ball. Thing with Aaron Jones he's get his was volume, and he's probably gonna score. The, the Jamal Williams carries that came out 
of nowhere last that, week. That scared me. Yeah, yeah, but I figured now that McCarthy was gone, like maybe that was just like it a would, fucking yeah. stupid ass. No, but last week was that was Philbin. Was it? Yeah, yeah, he was the one who they split carries. It was like thirteen and thirteen or something like that. No, no, it wasn't that close. The last game they were even semi close was with McCarthy. No, Aaron Jones put up like eighteen last week. Yeah, Aaron Jones went for like Aaron Jones had a good week last week. Yeah, Andrew carries. Luck putting up under double digits is not it. Yeah, not a good fact. Not ideal. Yeah, and you know what's unfortunate is they had a they played a great game with like the the Colts. I know twenty three. Well, you know what a great team win. Yeah. Just yeah, not like you, Andrew Luck. You, like, if you look at the score, 23 nothing. you think, oh, Andrew Luck's got to have yeah, a touchdown we were, in there. We, me and him were sitting no. here across. We were doing air high fives. Luck to Ebron. Luck to Ebron. Ebron had 1.3 points. Yeah, what they combined for, like, yeah, fucking motherfucking... Yeah, you know what it was too? It was, it was fucking Mac attack, man. Mac, I mean, Marlon Mack went off, and I was—I yeah, saw a stat that was like Ryan Kelly was finally back in their lineup as a center. When in games when Ryan Kelly is is under center, they average like five point one yards per carry compared to like three point four. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fucking run game for them. So they huh? went and so Ryan sure, Kelly came back. Sure and, enough. And the Mac attack fucking Damn. went full force. So as we speak, Joe is putting the dagger into my fucking heart deeper. You still have a nine percent chance. Deeper, <sighs> yo. What is that? Like, what is Yahoo's fucking algorithm? Dude, all Yahoo, the by the way, is the goat of fantasy football platforms. I but agree. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, you could be down by ninety five and then give you a one percent. Yeah, chance. I'm a quarter into Monday Night Football. Basically, Joe's already up five points. And he has Christian McCaffrey. But Yahoo still gives me an 8% chance. So I'm feeling pretty good about my odds considering where we're at right now. Realistically, I would have needed the first play of the game to be a toss behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> negative three <laughs> yards. Straight. A fumble picked up by the defense. Christian McCaffrey would also have needed to have gotten hurt and been out for the rest of the game. Yahoo thinks that's like a 15% chance of happening, apparently. So, I mean, I'll update you on my game. I'll let you know if I win afterwards. <laughs> and we're going to move on to Nick's matchup, which is fucking live right now. It's, and locked. It's locked. Dude, they have three points combined. Early, man. It's first early. Quarter. First quarter. So we're, we're halfway worry. through the first quarter as we're filming this of Monday Night Football. Is went into the game, down 40. Wow, what a shit show of a fucking week, for it's, real. It, that's like the worst matchup, of the worst playoff matchup of all time. I'm Lamar Miller getting you .8. It's like you, Aaron Jones, got you .8. He fucks you. If Lamar Miller gives me his floor at like five points, mm -hmm. I look a lot better than I do right now. Yeah, you're, you're coming down to every single point matters here. Yeah, we were talking about um, yesterday, should Galladay over Humphreys. I get it, but I literally said here last week, Galladay was in my lineup last week. He's not going to be in my lineup yeah. this week. I don't trust him. What Stafford's situation was, whatever the case was. And I gave you my reasoning for playing Humphreys. I Good tweeted Lord. out a few weeks ago, he was in my ideal playoff fantasy lineup, so I have to play him. I'd look like a fraud if I didn't. That's the bad thing about getting on video. As soon as you like yeah. lock something in, yeah. you can't go the other, well, other that, way. Nah. That happened to me last week with Zay Jones. I had it in my head I was going to start him. And then somebody tweeted about, like, who should I start, him or Zay? And I said, I'm and starting like Zay. I said, I'm starting Zay all the way. And then, you know, as the day came around, I thought about it. I said, nah. I tweeted it, starting him. Yeah, you got to do it. Fucked me. Point. And it's funny when you look at Georgia's team, because like all we've said it all year, we're like, Georgia's team fucking sucks. It does. But Todd Gurley is single-handedly yep. carrying him. And here's what's going to happen. Georgia's texted. What do you say? C-Mac touchdown pass. C-Mac. Oh, my God, it was. C-Mac just threw a touchdown for 50 yards. He threw it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, you still get points, just not. I don't get any points. Why would he get points for that? Are you, like, so, are you that stupid? C-Mac threw a, the a, points. He a touchdown. He threw it. Fucking threw it, so he still gets the points. He doesn't have C Mac. Oh, you don't have C Mac. What do you right. like? What are you talking I about? You are such a cunt. I just saw it. Yeah. I would. I would. Oh. Good. That means Breeze is playing from behind. Air the ball. Air the ball. Air the ball out. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Sorry. That right now, the Ooh. look on Nick's face and the feeling Damn, in dude. his heart right now. It's tough. I don't. I don't wish that upon my worst enemy. Oh, so basically, he needed forty points. <laughs> Yeah. So he needed 40 points from Breeze and Cam combined. Ooh. Christian McCaffrey just threw a 50 yard touchdown, not to Cam Newton. Real good play call. I just watched it. Yeah, yeah, my bad on that one. Who did he throw it to? I saw the name for a second. Uh, 82, whoever that is. That didn't feel good right there. That's that's that feeling when you know something real bad just happened and it, and it's slipping away. Sort of like when Max blew a 74 point lead to get it. I had to the that feeling last week when I watched uh, Jared Goff and Mitch Trubisky throw back to back interceptions. Yeah, well, that was pathetic. 
I never even I don't even deserve to be in this game right now. So I'm gonna take what I can get. You know what it is? No one deserves like our teams were so bad this week, no one actually deserves it. So no, it's you're like, right. you, it's like you're right. You might just he might just deserve it less. And next week and next week Gurley ain't playing. So when George goes, Joe's gonna blow him out of the fucking water. Do you think water. I saw an update today it said uh he has knee inflammation in his day to day. I just don't see why they would I, risk I, it I don't either. against Arizona, yeah. I dude, don't I don't know, dude. Like the, the fucking Rams have looked like Yeah, cheeks. they need to bounce back. They, they look, look like, like shit. fat fucking cheeks. They don't have to cover the spread next week. They just have to win by one point. That is true. And I think they could easily do that. Yeah, considering running yeah. backs literally don't fucking matter, especially you guys like Todd Gurley, they can win without him. Yes. I actually would like to know. I guess we're not going to know what the line is difference with Gurley in there. There's no way. The line doesn't change in that game if Gurley's not in that lineup. No way. Mm, probably a little bit. No. I'll I give it a so. point and a half. Yeah, it's a point and a half. A little bit. A point. I, I Gurley's at a, a point. Or a half. Oh, I would give it a half point max. Gurley's a type of player that changes the game, so no. they, they, they factor that in. Running backs literally don't matter. Certain ones do. Saquon Barkley's the only one that's ever mattered. I was just going to say. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Everyone else doesn't fucking matter. I don't think you're wrong. I just ran a question and popped in my head. How do you think Derrick Henry would do in the Rams offense? We're rewinding it back to the beginning of the year. Going into this year, you're like, oh my God, this Rams offense is so fucking good. Like, Todd Gurley's rolling every single game. With that same volume? Yeah, like I don't want to say like right now because the Rams don't look as good, you know? Like Derrick Henry, I don't know how he would do. Yeah, but putting putting it on a pedestal now, no. Right, but. like putting it, going back to week one, Derrick Henry's in Todd Gurley's spot. How do you think he does? Derrick Henry is not. He's a Heisman winner. 2,000 yards. Hundo. Yeah, I know he's a Heisman winner, but he's not the he's not the receiving back Gurley is. Gurley's no. so utilized in that That's receiving true. role in LA. Hey, but Gurley has like twenty one rushing touchdowns. Does First he of all, had he, that many this no, year? No, he doesn't. Total, yeah. He doesn't have rushing uh, touchdowns up to twenty one. He has twenty one already though? Oh total on the year? He might, yeah, Jeez. it's probably close. That's Gurley's he's a machine. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He has seventeen rushing. So he might Sorry. He might be at <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. The news up there. Jeez. They get Arizona and San Francisco on the schedule. All right. So that's the matchup right now. Pray for Snacks. Pray for him to win. If he can't win, then at least pray for him to get cancer. Mm. Yes, yes. Please. Yeah. Where are the hashtags, by yeah, the way? Really. We're not getting a lot of support. For all the love that you guys show in the comments really? on Twitter and stuff, like someone fucking tweet us out hashtag cancer for snacks. You literally just have to open the Twitter app, punch in the number sign. It's on the Twitter thing when you go to tweet and just type in cancer, F O R. Snacks. Yeah. S N A C K S. I don't get it. It's, it's these help cell, us. Yeah, these cells aren't going to fucking ruin themselves. People. We're trying to get Adam Thielen on the pod. Don't you want to see that? Do, do you, you still want to see that? I was going to say, after do you still want to what see he that? did to you, do you Honestly, want him here? Like, unbiased. Do you even like Adam I Thielen? I might not still? let him in my fucking house. Oh, what man. I would do, I'd fucking lock that door. <laughs> and then he wouldn't be able lock. to get in. Big time lock. Just lock. You're lucky I'm a professional. I'd get the fuck up and leave. Of course I want Adam. Adam brought me to where I was today. Adam made me a better man. He did. He taught me He taught me responsibility. He taught me hard work. Where are those paying off? I haven't seen either of those come to fruition. Well, I still responsibility. You were 45 minutes late. That's he, not my fault. That's 45 NCAA. minutes. He came here at 8.20, like when the game kicked <laughs> off. No, I got here at 7.50. No, and then he, you know. He got here at 7.50. You're going to lie on, on air. I'm literally not lying. I got here at 7.50. I had four train cancellations. Do not come to New Jersey and think that NJ Transit's a good thing. Just don't. <laughs> NJ Transit's got to be the worst It's the worst fucking in the world. thing in the world. It's so good. If you ever come to New Jersey, that's one of the highlights. Yeah, Going and then coming to my house it. is another. So. <laughs> coming to the studio, to the HQ. All right, that's the recaps. It's really, like, not kind fun of, to talk yeah, about fantasy much. anymore, to be honest. I'm over it. We're all over it at right? this point. So we're going to dive into, we want to do a little overrated, underrated segment. And we're still, the, the name is a, is a work in progress. But we basically just wanted you to drop random topics or subjects that you want us to discuss being overrated or underrated it can do with football but it doesn't have to do anything not with yet, football not necessarily the ones we're going to talk about today are semi-football related some one of them is one of them is not max do you have a preference on which one we start off with let's start with the not football related one okay yeah, let's get off football please. okay so we'll who, i'm sick of shit uh, really. i didn't write the name of who actually tweeted this one let me see if i can pull it up kevin Shear. don't Sh don't fuck his name up skiaroli i think i got that right I don't think he did. Ski Rolly. I don't S C H S E H I A R O L I. Ski Rolly. I don't know if it's Shia Rolly. I feel like Shia Rolly. Yeah, I think it's she if it's S C H. Or Ski. Either way, either Skirt. way, either way he's got his credit. He's got his credit. Kevin, thank you for the motherfucking overrated underrated. He says chicks with tats slash piercings. He's excited about this. He threw a fucking exclamation point after and he said, gotta love him. IMO. In his opinion, do you agree with his opinion? 
chicks with tats slash piercings. I'm going to actually transfer this over to Max because I know someone in your life is going to get angry if you jump at this at this uh, one too quickly. So Max, how are you feeling about chicks with tats and piercings? So let me interrupt you. If you say that you don't like it, you're fucking wrong. Jesus I didn't Christ. even get a chance. You're man. so wrong. Chicks with tats. You want to go? Yeah. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> I'm fucking commandeering this. Chicks with tats are unbelievably hot. They are. But wait, wait, wait. What wait, makes wait, them wait, hot wait, too wait. is yeah. that they're fucking. Just let him finish. Is that this they're is... they're equally intimidating as they are hot. You see a girl like fully tatted up. I'm talking about like not like a girl who has like a fucking tramp stamp or like a star We're on her fucking like ankle. A, a fucking half sleeve. I'm talking like tats. You're like, oh, this girl's tatted up. Yeah, half sleeve is cool. Tats anywhere is fine. That's a huge fucking turn on for me because, like I said, it, it's it's a little bit of an intimidation factor. Is Men do it, like to be intimidated. I do. It's like an attraction thing for yes. me because if you're, I don't know if you, if you're too like innocent and like you don't have any edge to you, I feel like it, what's it, the point of me coming after you? Exactly. Yeah. It's a little boring to me. Uh, piercings, I could really give a shit less. I do like nipple piercings yeah. though. Yeah, nipple piercings. Well, cool. you gotta. You got to get to a certain point in time for that. But from an outside perspective, I will say tats underrated as well. It depends on the, the depth of the tattoos. If it's a if it's all body, if it's two sleeves, I, you know, I'm not trying to date Jeff Hardy over here, okay? <laughs> I feel like you would. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Hardy's a guy. It, Turn your fucking brain on, Max. I, I know what he's saying, but... Tats. Tell us where the lives are in our statements. Period. I like tats on chicks. So I just, the it's all about location for me, though. What location? I like a nice, like a, a half sleeve. Half sleeve. Like maybe some fucking flowers. And, so uh, one you could see with like the summer, the summer Yeah, if thing. they got like yeah. a tank top on, yeah. you could all see. Right. Or like, I like just, just the shoulder. When like I say, when I say Jeff Hardy, I, know, I mean like I don't want up. two sleeves. But you could have said Lita. So I don't know what kind of fucking wrestling. Lita fan you didn't are. have that until later on in her career. Shit, you could have said late career Lita. Yeah. LCL. Everyone knows LCL. Come on, dude. It's You're better people. than that. It's two Jeff Hardy. People. I really. I, need, I think tats I need everywhere. To quit. I don't think they need to be sleeve. I don't even. I mean, that's also me too because I have fucking retarded tats like all over my body. So. Well, yeah, you're just not an intelligent human. <laughs> when I see when I see them all over girls like randomly, the last girl I was dating had one like bicep. When I saw that right away, I was like, that's it. Like you don't. I don't. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. But it I was don't like, like bicep. It was like one on her like her thigh. Like one twelve. On her back. Just, they're just random. random. Ones. They're random. I love that. I love yeah, them fucking nah. everywhere. I don't my know girlfriend's got some nice tattoos. I like it. Be, like, like pieced together and look nice. I'll get a. I would get one. I don't know. If this doesn't have anything to do with it. But if some one of you guys had a tattoo gun. I would get one on our next episode. I mean, My sister has one. I can just fucking convince her to give yeah, me a really, tattoo. She's actually like an artist. She bought one. She bought a tattoo. Oh yeah, by the way, um, check out my sister's uh, art Instagram fucking thing. I figure I should just plug <laughs> Wait, it. Wait, can we do That's shout outs? Plug. Can, can I do a plug? Too? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's plug. all plug. Let's all plug. Follow um, my okay, girlfriend's enough, enough of that. Instagram page, Dietitian KC. That's how you spell it. <laughs> no, listen, if you're fat, if you feel bad about yourself, if you need to lose weight, if you got to get better health, follow her. She's really good at her job. Yeah, so. link will be down below. I can. Uh, that's, that's Big Dog approved. Boom. Go follow Kristen. Link, link approved. You will follow Kristen, and uh, it's plug season. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all are into the uh, whole fitness nutrition ting as well as football. So that's your girl for that. Max, you want to plug anything? No, I got nothing to plug. Love that. That's that's when you know you're really depressed from fantasy football. And you have nothing in your life to plug, and yeah. you're out of the playoffs. I mean, you got a nice haircut. The uh, you did. Oh you yeah, plug your my barber? Uh, my barber. Who's my, your barber? My, uh, what do you call a woman? It's not barber, is it? Barbret. Yeah, my Barbrette, a Barbrette. Um, Taylor can. I don't know what you could follow her. You let a woman cut your hair? Oh yeah, go to a salon, dude. Pathetic. They, they shampoo What's, it. Where did you go? Um, Artisan Architects in Ridgewood. I go. Great. To, my barber shampoos my hair. Yeah, it's awesome. But it's a guy. Yeah, my. You said that. Man, if, you said that as if like only women will do that for you. Well, I really haven't. I actually haven't been to many different. Uh, Shout out Lou, places, the greatest so. bartender, at bar barber. Listen, you get time. one plug. All right. Yeah, cut like, it out. yeah, you're right. You, you're yeah, like, yeah. Cut it out. Do you really even want to plug in? This like, isn't a commercial. Your hair fucking sucks. Anyway. Yeah, but Arson Architects in Ridgewood, they uh, they do good work, as you can tell. That does look good. I mean, last week I looked like fucking shit, so. <laughs> well, were, you looked like shit because you were depressed and miserable and stupid. You were in a so. bad place in your life. Yes. All right, so we're going to agree yes. on uh, underrated. For underrated. Tats, this for sure. next one, I feel like there's going to be some, some disagreements. I will also say one other thing. When I was out in California, tattoos are super normal. Like soccer moms have full sleeves. It's fucking a, yeah. See, that's a, hot. They it's look beautiful. Wild. I like that. It's amazing. I'm no one about cares, the older cares about ladies, anything. They love tattoos yeah, over there. I love that shit. Yeah, it really, uh, really changed me for the better. Another overrated, underrated one. Uh, who uh, said this one? It's football related. It's so it, it's football. about Ooh, all right. It's about someone's uh, football player's career, whether it's overrated or underrated. It's a uh, Yasilo. 
Yasolo? Yasolo, congratulations. You, uh, is he Jewish? Selected. That would make sense because this guy is mm. also a Jew. He might. His name is Elijah Manning. Mm. Underrated or overrated? No, no, no. It's underrated or overrated? No, no, no. It's Eli Manning's career. Underrated or overrated? Who wants to start? Not me. I'll start. Not me. I'll Go start. ahead, start. I dare you. I dare you to start. Oh, what if I was going to say it was... Shut up. Talk. <laughs> oh, my God. Go ahead. Elijah Manning's career is so miserably... You have to be honest. Overrated. Mm, good answer. So overrated. When you look at... You got a family feud. Good answer. When you look, <laughs> When you look at the work of art outside of literally winning the two Super Bowls, Christian McCaffrey is probably a better quarterback, especially after tonight. Go ahead, finish. As a passer, as a quarterback. All right, I guess the question is his career. Yes. I mean, I feel like you have to base that on where he ends up. Like, if he ends up in the Hall of Fame, that's going to be... One no, of the when he ends up in the Hall of Fame. If he unfortunately ends up in the Hall of Fame, this is going to be a big argument on like sports shows and and. Oh yeah, but that's why we're ahead of the curve. Right, and we're going to settle it now for them and let yes. them know that he shouldn't be in there to start. Yeah. So that's my opinion. I think he's overrated um, as a quarterback because if he didn't win the Super Bowls, he wouldn't even be in contention. Of See, a- but it's funny. It's fun. You know, it's really fucking funny. If 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 my aunt had balls, she'd be my motherfucking uncle. Okay. <laughs> If Eli didn't win the Super Bowls, he did. He won them. It wasn't the fucking defense where everybody, oh, the defense won the giant Super Bowls. Go ahead. Try and fucking distract me from my point. You never will. You can't break this mental toughness. You can't. I am a two-time Super Bowl champion. Your team chalked a fucking 25-point lead in the dark quarter. Eli Manning beat the greatest quarterback and the greatest coach of all time, and he didn't do it once. He did it twice. So you think if it wasn't for general manager incompetence, <laughs> he would have had a better team from 2011 on. He didn't. So to clarify, you're going with underrated. I got an overrated out of that. Suck my dick. You have to bleep that out. <laughs> you so, bleep that out, I'm fucking quit. Underrated. Do you promise? You know, you, you know what, you motherfuckers. I get it all now. You literally were saying, "Oh no, we'll tell you when we do. We'll tell you when you started." Oh, blah 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 blah. blah. You, you set me up for fuck. You set me up for this. You know I'm on edge and you, you set me up. Yes. You are sadistic fucking assholes. Yes. You, yeah. Yeah? Yes. Well, your hair looks stupid, okay? You look terrible. I don't ever want you ever going near a woman because they will not come near you. You are a stupid fucking cocksucker too. You are a piece of shit for fucking allowing this on your air. This is the best content I've See, ever this, seen. This is why we didn't tell you... The, who was in the segment because we wanted to get the best reaction out of you. As you can tell, it worked. So you think, you think being rude to me makes better content. How is that weird being rude? I don't How, think why it was are we rude. Being rude? It was... Because I'm worked up. I'm going to cry. I've been throwing <laughs> up all day. I got to fuck at this game. I got to win. I'm not going to win. And this stupid fucking moron Steen's going to beat us. Okay. <laughs> I I I I'm I, 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 I'm flabbergasted, and then you bring up over under underrated Eli Manning's career, who's the the greatest. Pick your words carefully. Giants, quarter. The greatest NFC quarterback of all time. Mm. You don't even believe that. That's bold. And the entire NFC, not just the NFC East. You went a whole. NFC. Joe Montana was a quarterback. You idiot. Yeah. No. Okay. Maybe not. Top five though. Tell you that he was better than Phil Simms. Okay. And I heard Phil Simms say, oh, "Fuck Phil Simms." Seriously, Phil Simms. I hope you listen to this. Chris Simms, you too. You work for Bleacher Report. You're a little bitch. Eli was not even a top five quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. Wrong as usual. At any Wrong. point. In 2011, time. he was an MVP candidate. So was Andy fucking Dalton. Wrong. Wrong. That's wrong. Andy Dalton wasn't in the league in 2011. He was an MVP candidate. That doesn't solidify. When? Your... When was he an MVP candidate? Tell me. Three or four years ago. This is facts. No, it's not. I'm not just bringing this up to piss you off. No, you're probably you... when AJ Green was having a really good year. Yeah, it was Green was healthy. Eifert was healthy. So... I knew I should have taken the week off. I <laughs> I fucking knew it. I yeah, knew I it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I don't give you PTO. You do what the fucking boss says. All right. So I wanted to. Uh bring up a poll that I put out on Twitter yesterday or two days ago, whenever I did. This weird thought came into my head. The world we live in, there's a lot of opportunity to make money, right? For instance, like... Selling blood and semen. Selling blood and semen, talking about fantasy football. But there are some people that make an absurd amount of money that 
are miserable at their jobs. Non-deserving of their money. Yeah, to put it nicely. And I thought of a few right off the top of my head that are in different industries. For the amount of money that each of these people make, and I have them here with me, who is the worst at their job in respect to the ratio of the amount of money that they make? So a earned dollar per miserableness at their <laughs> occupation. I don't really know how to put that. Yeah, you put it well. I think Thank that was you. good. And the four people that I had, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. The first one was, was Sam Bradford quarterback of is he still on the cardinals he hasn't no, been cut yet he's cut he got cut he's cut Ep so that's sam plus, bradford that's of, plus one point <laughs> yeah. sam bradford of the rams the eagles the the free agent the Vikings, jobless sam bradford blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. still yeah. collecting a 1.5 weekly million dollar check I'm then we have bitch. the rock dwayne johnstein huge pussy he rakes it in as does judge judy i can't believe that one. put respect on her name oh, judge boy. judy and the last one is six nine the rapper now, I don't know, like, you guys probably don't really know him well. I have no idea who that I guy is. I know my younger audience will know him. He's uh, this little little rapey rapper that legit is, like, on trial right now for having sex with, like, a 14-year-old or 15-year-old or something like that. He's got pink hair. Uh, he's in jail right now. He's going to be in jail for a long time. Oh, he's time. the pink hair guy? Probably deserves about. it. Yeah. He's, yeah, for racketeering. Good. Uh, and uh, supposedly he's, yeah, he's, he's getting his shit pushed in. You know, like in uh, <laughs> Train. I got but, my shit. You ever get your shit pushed <laughs> in, man? Yeah, that's probably what's happening to him. He's probably taking shits everywhere all over the goddamn Ooh, He thing. got arrested for racketeering. He's in jail for racketeering? Yeah. Well, he's in the wrong mob, I tell you that. So realistically, all of these people are universally fucking horrible at their jobs, but make a ridiculous amount of money. Sam Bradford signed a $20 million deal for the Cardinals guaranteed. prior to this year. Guaranteed. Fully guaranteed. And when did Josh Rosen take over the quarterback job? Week, what, five? Week five. I feel like it was sooner than that. Maybe it was. I don't know. I'm just, I, I thought that was pretty early. I don't even know. So Sam Bradford, the four game, four game quarterback, $20 million. The Rock pulled in. $124 million last year. He's the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Judge Judy signed a fucking Bryce Harper deal. Five years, $250 million with whatever fucking TV state. Yo, when That's was insane. the last time anyone's watched Judge Judy? How did she make that much money? I, I She's that know. good at her job. I honestly don't know. Should, what she, channel should, should is she that? not be on this poll? Is she that good? No offense, Nick. That was the one... I don't know who six nine four is. The only reason Judge I'm, Judy should not be on this poll. She's that damn good at her job. She has a forty seven million dollars salary. Deserves it. That's absurd. She just deals with like petty theft. She deserves it. The yeah. reason I put her on was because the amount, because the, the way it's the poll is set up, the ratio, for what she yeah, does. for earned money to what you do for your or how good you are at your job. I feel like she just made too much not to be on the list. Forty seven million dollars salary. Six nine has a net worth of four million dollars, but he's like the biggest fucking social media icon for these younger fucking. Creeps that listen to this music. Yeah, he's, I mean, I ain't gonna act like I don't have a few of his songs on my workout playlist. But he's a piece of shit, but he's worth four million dollars. And I'm gonna find the poll results real quick. Just give me like thirteen. How many like singles does he have? Like thirteen to fifteen rushing yards, like hit songs and shit. Is there anything that we like, would? Yeah, like if I heard something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I know that. You song. might have heard a new song with Nicki Minaj called. Uh, no, I didn't hear it. Fifi. Nope. It's all if, over the radio. Not if Nicki Minaj was in it. Dude, it fucking slaps. I definitely not. Okay, I'm going to play it real quick for you. Put the headphones on. Get to the gym. You could run a mile to 6'9", I bet, Nick. I think it would pump you up a little bit. Who says I have to run a mile? That's going to be soon, actually. Fuck, y'all remember that? Shut it off. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. So it's not nice. No, I don't like this. Come on, Nick. I know you want to bob that head. Louder, you said? So, God. That was the worst yeah, fucking I, thing I've ever heard in my life. I did not like that. What was he saying? What was that What was that human being saying? If you tell me, then maybe I can understand it better. No. If you don't understand it, you don't deserve to know. Okay, good. I don't want to know. Good. I don't want to know. You don't fucking deserve it. Unbelievable. So he would get your vote? No. Yeah, maybe. I'm looking at the mm. poll right now. No, I already have my vote. I'm looking at the poll, and this is going to be skewed. Really Everyone dumb. in my in my audience, you know, is football fans, right? Sam Bradford got 38 percent of the vote. The Rock, eight percent. Judge Judy, 12. Six nine, 42 percent. Oh. So he took the win. I wow. think you guys are wrong though. At a, at a four million dollar net worth, there's only one correct answer on this list. And it's The Rock. It's The Rock. Yeah, 100%. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, and he got the the least amount of votes on this list. Do we have the because, number for like Sam the, Bradford's like money per game he played? Because how many games did he actually play? Per game, he made a hundred and thirty million dollars guaranteed throughout his career. I mean, The Rock does a lot more work than Sam Bradford. Yeah, but his work is terrible. It's the it's, work is ethic. bad. 
It's his bad. work is so bad. <laughs> it's bad, but he works hard still. He's like he has out some there. good movies though. He's up like in the morning. He's working like out. He's going to Gr- shoot. Gridiron Gang was a great movie. Yeah, but that was old rock. Twelve years that's ago, that's not new rock. All I said rock. was he has. Dude, a the good Rundown movie. is the Rock's best movie. I don't think I've ever seen that. Walking what? Tall is the Rock's best movie. Ooh, so we're all second. arguing with a bunch about that's a, a bunch movie. of good movies that the Rock's made. Judge Judy money. is really good at her job. I, I don't think you could prove. I think that's a big thought again. Yeah. I think that's well, a big thought. Just watch only. her and trust me, she's that good. What channel? You don't even know what channel. How am I going to watch her? If I you think don't it's Pixel Eleven. I don't know. It's Pixel Eleven. That like that shit went fucking. Yeah, but extinct. Do you think that you honestly think you couldn't do Judge Judy's job? Absolutely not. She she's probably doesn't have a law degree. She's that good. Can someone she's tell us good. if she's even a real judge? Anyone out there? Yeah, there's no way she's Look a real this judge up for us. Because if I she does, her it. name is Judge Judy. Why didn't she shit. deal with Supreme Court cases? If she's the why girl? would she want to belittle herself like that? Belittle herself? Yeah. She, what oh, she what do- she wants to deal with? Fucking- she makes fifty million on TV. Why would she want to go anywhere else? Because if she's a good that's judge, point. that's what you. She's not an entertainer. She signed on. To the Declaration of Fucking Independence. And what did you say before? Money talks, right? That's what you said. When did I say that? Uh, maybe you said it. I don't know. I but think you're I'm just saying, making things I'm up. I'm saying it now. Money talks. She's that damn good at her TV job. Why would you ever want to move anywhere else? So admit that she's a TV host and not a judge. Wrong. She's that good of a job. The Rock, however, is a quitter. Hmm. You're gonna. You, Interesting. That's, wait. Okay. Let's hear it. I want to hear more on this. Why is he a quitter? Yeah. As a WWE stockholder. Oh my god. Okay? <laughs> Here we fucking go. Damn it. What do you mean, it. damn it? This is facts. <laughs> Big yeah, facts only. Yeah, you own the Rock quit in his prime to pursue a Hollywood career. No, I, I can't do it. I really... I try to just... So you were saying something? So you're going with The Rock. That's that's what we were. I at. was going with The Rock until I heard that. Whatever the fuck that was. So you was that a woman singing? That's that was, that was Nicki. That was, I know that was that was Nicki Minaj. That was Judge Judy. That's now, her walkout song. How do you feel? Do you do you think judges have walkout songs? I would fucking have a walkout they song should. to the bench. Judy I would walk know. out to the Undertaker's theme song. That would be I, the I'd lights be like, out. You're getting life. You're the getting twenty five to life if the you come the, out. The, the lights the lights go out. Hundo. Right, and then I you know. When the, lights go, when the lights go on with the second gong, I'm sitting in the in the chamber. Would you be in the chamber or would you be like below it and then you pop no, up? No, you got like I'd be in the chamber. Right I'd yeah. be in the chamber. Oh lights God. go out with the with the first gong. That's so good. Yeah. yeah. What do you do if you're like actually on trial and you're sitting there and that's how your judge comes in? Dude, Arrest me. I'm killing myself. Put me yeah, in jail. Right? Like, just... Don't give me the chair. Let me put me in jail. Myself. Oh. No, I would just say put me in jail. I'll make your life easy, Judge. Put me in jail. If oh, I saw a judge with the Undertaker's like, theme that, song, that was awesome. Imagine okay. Kane was the fucking bailiff. Oh my god. Or the plaintiff. I mean, wait. Is it the... <sighs> well, who are you talking? The bailiff would be the guy that's like, if shit gets out of hand, it. he comes okay. and fucks and chokes slam you. By the way, fun fact: we just looked it up. Judge Judy's bailiff oh, yeah, makes a million dollars a year. Deserve. He might need to be on the list over Judge Judy. Yeah, I mean, what is that? Has he actually? Deserve. Has he take? Has he taken anyone out? I want to know if there's video. Dude, like the things that they do on Judge Judy is literally no, it's like, like this fucking lady like, shit oh, in my oh, he dog broke, shit in my lawn. He broke my car window and owes yeah. me four hundred dollars, and he only paid me two hundred dollars back. And and Nick owes me like this could be a case. Nick owes me two hundred dollars for the microphone that he's talking into right now. This is hypothetical, oh, of course. Fuck, that's right. Yeah, I'm taking worry, your judge fucking like Judy. Bucks. Judge Judy, oh, shit. bring in the dancing <laughs> lobsters. I, to- I totally forgot about Oh, yeah, yeah, I got to send that to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is how Judge Judy I cases totally start. Oh, I forgot about, about it, right? And then you got the guy fucking on in court. Like, oh, I forgot about it. And then oh, Undertaker comes out, and then we have a whole other oh, fucking story. God, so you're The Rock. No, I'm so close Steve Austin. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for the poll. You're going with It's the 100% rock? The Rock. He's the yeah. worst actor in Hollywood. How he gets paid that much money is mind blowing. His finishing move is the people's elbow. Do you know why he gets paid this much money? Tell Here's me. my theory, I guess. His movies are action movies, right? Well, he makes a, most of his money like globally, right? His movies do so right. well internationally. And it'll be like, uh, what's that movie that, that came out with the fucking, like, the world was ending and there was all these different, like, like hurricanes and shit. Did you see that one? It was like kind of recently, like two years ago. Fucking was that New York City. Alexander San Andreas, Daddario? maybe? San Andreas, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah with Alexander Daddario. His movies that are movies? action movies like that, like he says like 10 words in, right? But it's all action. Right, it's all action. So when you put that fucking thing in, in Hong Kong, people go nuts. You don't have to hear him talk. He doesn't talk. He says 10 fucking words. And that's why his, he does action movies because he doesn't have to talk. Puts him in international because he doesn't have to speak English. No right. one fucking cares what and he's saying. And that makes him a, 
a fraud beyond belief. He's Agreed. the new age Arnold. I mean, Arnold's. Although I think no, Arnold's movies were Arnold better. had some great ones. His movies were good. His acting Kindergarten was shit. Cop. Yeah, well, that that was actual acting. I'm talking about like when he first started, like Conan. And, well, the Terminator. You, he had like no you, lines. His acting was shit, but the movies were awesome. Okay, but The Rock's Fighting. been doing this for 12 years now. Yeah, he's made some killer movies and he's had some fucking real shit. You know ones. what the worst part about it is? Like, it's not like his fault. The Rock has killer movies. We're the market. Like, we decide what's good and what's bad, and we just keep telling The Rock that he's fucking amazing. He's, I think he it sucks. sucks. Oh, he's I mean, I'm telling him that he's fucking sucks. And the fact that people call him Dwayne Johnson is disgusting. Well, yeah, that, he's, that he's is the disgusting. Rock. He's The Rock. I wish he could have just stayed as a Miami Hurricane for the, his whole life. That's what I see. You know what he said? I read on Twitter one time, like seven years ago. Somebody asked him, if you were to play in the NFL, which team would you want to play for? You know what he said? The Cowboys. No. Giants. Giants. That's the really? only reason you would have brought that up. This is literally the only reason. Oh, I thought since no were, other reason. Well, I thought since that he up. was talking about how much he hated no. him, that was just like another building. And it's funny because like The Rock after Stone Cold was always my guy. He was my second he favorite. He was the goat back in the he was, yeah. he was oh, amazing. Best on the mic. He was amazing. Best it doesn't mic. matter what yeah. you think. Yeah. He was amazing. Yeah, he's yeah, the goat. Best on the mic. But he's a quitter. He's a fucking quitter. You don't, you don't forgive a quitter. He's a quitter. I mean, he quit like the WWE, but I yeah. wouldn't say he's a quitter. He's probably one of the hardest working celebrities in Hollywood. You're an idiot. Yeah. So uh, drop a comment down below letting us know that Max is an idiot. Why six nine is so good and why is that his name six nine? It's like I, uh, is he like <laughs> is he like Fetty Whip? He's got the fucking one eye. No, that's that's no. Fetty Wap. It's Fetty. Wap. He came. You know uh, what? He's put some respect on him. He's from New Jersey, all right? He put Jersey on the map yeah, for like yeah. one summer. He had about seven Smash songs. Guy's yeah. still fucking raking it in probably from those like three oh, three or four wait, jammers. I he died. Easily. No. Fetty Wap? Yeah. Put him in the cemetery. Wait, right. he didn't. I thought there was a famous. Um, no, he's not dead at all. He just keeps putting out the same song over and over again. And we're like, yeah. Fetty, it doesn't work anymore, bro. We're Fettied up. We're a fuck. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> no, he's fucking what, very what much alive. What is going on with you, man? What? Are you think about XXX? He was someone who just died. Like, Temptation, right? Yeah, dude, yeah. I actually really like his music. Yeah, he, uh, he, got, he got shot. I'm going to see the Rolling Stones in in, in June, so that's so over. That pretty much ends this. So we're done with that poll. Start actually. me up. I mean, while we're talking about, want to get back into some football? Yeah, let's talk about some football. We're going to talk about the Patriots dynasty because for the last ten to what is it, thirteen years maybe at this point? Yeah, when did Brady take over? Four. Just go thirteen years. It sounds good. Yeah, they've basically run the NFL. You know, if they're not winning the Super Bowl, they are basically they're winning the Super Bowl. Constant contenders every year, and I'm <clears> sick of it. And uh, and recently, you know, I'm really hesitant to put anything bad on the Patriots because okay. everyone does it every year. You always look like an asshole at the end of the year. Yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna say they're pretty much a they, they people are RJing. They have the the universal fucking RJ being yeah. reverse jinx being put on them right now. So I think the smart money, I think the locks of the century right now, Pat Super Bowl winning. I, you know what? You beat me to it because when they're dead in the water, that's when they rise. That's when they do the best. Mm -hmm. And they're going to play on the – they're probably going to play wild card weekend for the first time since we were in diapers. Jeez. What do you think that you, what do you think like Gronk does on his week off when they're not in the wild card? You know what? That's almost a discussion he, he in should itself. Fucking Gronk ice is up done. And rest. Did that's you watch Gronk run yesterday? He looks Bro, terrible. Gronk he can't is, move. No. It's like my childhood is is fading in front of my eyes. He can't him. move. Because we've watched Gronk be born. We've we've watched Gronk turn into Gronk, and yeah. now we're watching Gronk turn into fucking He's going full circle, man. He's gonna be in diapers soon. We saw we yeah. saw we saw we saw Gonzalez. We saw He probably wears diapers out. <laughs> out and goes out for like regularly. Just piss his pants so off dancing. <laughs> <laughs> what other tight ends would I it was Gonzalez, Gates, Algie Crumpler. Go. Big go. I need Algie to get a Crumpler. Crumpler. Yeah, oh Jersey. yeah. You're oh, you're welcome. West you're Coast welcome. offense. Jason went. He was. He never won anything. He was never good. But all these guys got out. out. None of them hit peak athleticness like Gronk did. Really. So he his his hill is gonna fall off like really steep. He's looking like really. Most of these guys and that's got what's out happening. Yeah, well, they were like not. I don't want to say on top, but they didn't fall off so hard. No, not like this. You know what I mean? This is this is bad. Yeah. Like Gronk, I feel like every game, every highlight is like there's a highlight of him like tripping over himself. He doesn't. He the just only looks way he lost out there. No, he was run. I think he could, he caught like a ball over the middle yesterday, and he was running. And I could have sworn like somebody was pushing him in a wheelchair. <laughs> like literally like, or he had a handicap thing that was just pushing him. Yeah. It, it's And I love Gronk. How do you not love Gronk? If you're a football fan outside of a Patriot hater and you don't love Gronk, you're a moron. Yeah, because he's one of those dudes that like, 
He's one of us. Yeah. And he's, he's completely one innocent on like every one level. You know what I mean? Like he's never done anything that's like really piece of shit level. So you can't hate him as like oh, a person, no. you know? No, I love Gronk. Well, has he, has I, he ever beat a woman? Has he ever? No, he's never done he's anything. He's just like beyond stupid, but like he's just someone that you would hang out with. Exactly. You know? Oh, yeah. We are all fucking beyond stupid. That's what I mean. Like so, he actually might make us look. He might. He might come on really the pod. good on this podcast. He might come on the pod. Yeah, I think he should be one of our targets. I mean, he's mm-hmm. going to be retired soon, probably, and have he's yeah. going to be retired. He's be looking four for games. work. Be <laughs> no, if he makes it that far. Segue into that. My Super Bowl prediction. I don't know about you guys. I still think the Patriots make it. There's make no, it or win it. There's no one in that AFC that that scares me. I think I, if dude, they play, AFC some, makes me nervous, man. I don't even really know what the outlook looks like right now in the, terms of the like, problem is right now. You got to see what happens with the Colts and the Titans. If one of them can get a wild card spot. The only way I like really see them losing is if they have to travel. Do they have a chance of traveling back to Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh being at home, mm, no, far, be a higher seed. Really reach, um, big reach. Uh, I mean, Pittsburgh, if they went chance. out, I believe. Okay, so that's a re- that's a way I could see them losing on the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, they're not gonna. I don't. There's no way they're losing to the Chargers. Yeah. I like the Chargers, but I just don't think Dang. the Chargers will get it done. Playoff football is all about coaching. That's yeah. like the first, and then quarterback plays <clears> and second. defense. The Patriots defense is abysmal. I'm excited to see this this playoff because, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are probably just, like, writing people off. Like, people are writing the Chiefs off, but I, I think, like, they've looked a little sloppy and things, not, mm, whatever. But Them I, and the I Rams, I will be the first to say I write them off. And yeah. I wish I wouldn't because I would love to see that rematch. We watched this game in the other room. Who do you who do you feel more confident ago? in right now, Chiefs or Rams? Chiefs. I would say Rams. The, really? Yeah. I would say the Chiefs. I, Chiefs. I watched Andy Reid coach that Eagles team to an oblivion too many years in a row to the point where... I can't see it. He will choke something away. And I think Jared Goff is one of the biggest pussies known to man. You would know that too. That helps your argument how? They just haven't. Their they, offense. That's what I'm, I'm, like I'm What's saying wrong with their offense right now? I don't understand. It's, it's ugly. bad. It's, it's ugly. bad. Well, they're, it's they're, ugly. They're, like the Chiefs offense hasn't looked bad. They've been playing. The no, Chiefs fucking been fine. schedule has been unbelievable. But Since yeah. like week seven, Mahomes, because he's on my fantasy team, so I look at it, and he's one of those guys you don't look at his schedule at all because yeah, you, know, you put matter. him in, you forget about it. Yeah. But every week, I'm like, oh, I wish he had a better matchup. It's like at Seattle, at yeah. LA. At, it's like, and, fuck. And their yeah. defense has actually stepped it up a lot. No, since. their defense is terrible. Dude, They've been better. It's been a They've lot been better, better since the start of the season. They were up 14 with four minutes to go, and they let the Chargers drive down the field two times in a row well, that's with what hap- ease. That's what happens when you let the best quarterback to ever come out of the 2004 draft class oh, definitely, like, yes. on the field do I that. Who, I, I who, like what? Uh, what defense is going to stop that? True. You know I, I mean? totally forgot about that. That's a good point. Definitely. Science. Probably you know, Phil one, Ben off two, off Eli you're better four. Off doing this. Yeah, there's someone there's else. There's definitely someone in there. Philip Rivers, the guy who's won all those uh, titles, right? Soon. Give it. Give it a month. He had some division titles. You know, for the for the followers to hear. Do we have to talk about Eli anymore? No, I'm not talking about Eli. All right, good. Your I'm favorite team's the Broncos. Eli. Yeah. Yes. When did you really start rooting for him? Be honest. Uh, when I was five years old. And it was fortunate because we went to Super Bowl in 97. It was just... And that's just what really Oh, stuck. so you're going to count those Super Bowls? Is I mean, that was when I was seven and eight. I was five when I started watching. Terrell Davis was the first uh, football jersey I ever owned. Idiot. Okay. I don't care about like this, to be honest. Yeah, just delete this. Just cut Let's it Let's talk out. about Rams and Chiefs again. Do you feel more confident with the Rams? I do, yeah. I think their <clears> defense <throat> is 20 times better than the Chiefs. Talent-wise. They just got whooped at home by the Eagles. Talent-wise, they did. it's better, they but did. they... But I also think Nick Foles like is a fucking god. He kind of is. Like, what the fuck? I want Nick Foles as the Giants quarterback next year. I yeah? think he, yeah, he, I do. I, I do. I've been saying next, that, yeah. Next week. He, would he be your top pick? He would. He is my top pick. It's not Teddy Bridgewater. I hope they draft somebody, but you got to cut Eli. You got to sign somebody. Why not Nick Foles? He played with Shermer. Every single time he's in like a big game, he wins. They were 14-point dogs last night. Yeah, that was impressive. He won by seven. They should have won by more. I feel like that's just <laughs> for this week. It's like the, the rejuvenation of the offense. Everyone's pumped you up. You can't just quarterback. say it's, just, it's this week. I know, he we won a wait Super Bowl s- run last year. Yeah. Is the same thing going to happen again? No. No shot. No, I don't. Th- I don't think. I, I think it's a little too little. No too shot. Late. Eagles are gonna that, be out of the playoffs. That's a big question, though. It's funny how much about real They're NFL football. I just like don't fucking pay attention. They're still in it only it's because fantasy, the, right? the Cowboys yeah. lost last. What week. What if Falls goes undefeated? They go to the playoffs and they make a run there. That's what I mean. It's mean. possible. Is, is it like? Is there a Wentz Falls controversy? Yeah, I, there, think there I mean, is there there's, there's the one there staring be. right now because if he runs out, media. if he runs the regular season and gets him into and the plays playoffs, well, yeah, and plays well, there has to be. But yeah. you're gonna trade Wentz? Why I don't not? mean. I don't mean like, you got a that's haul. What, that's what the I'm talking about right saying. now. Short term. No, I don't think you trade. You think you trade Wentz? How can you? Long term? You can't keep them both. Wentz is a uh, Foles is a free agent. Yeah, I think you let let go of Foles though. Especially I mean, with Wentz still on his how long? Wentz is on his rookie deal for another two years. No, this is his third year, so he's got two more years. They'll probably help. I feel like you normally have to extend. 
during the third year, fourth, fourth year, year, right? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Like, I don't think you want to. Wentz trust just had how many injured. injuries? He had You're broken right. ribs, an elbow, back, a back now. Before this, an ACL. before the draft, he had the, yeah. I think, yeah, he, I, I think they rushed him back. This, this ACL came out a weird, like a weird timing. His progression coming back, you know, because it it probably felt like there was a lot of pressure for him to get back into the fucking lineup. Yeah, they lineup. probably should have let him sit a little longer. That was so bad. And they tried. You could tell they tried like that really so hard bad. to try to get them like to like wait longer. But anytime, yeah, when they're like, oh, he's still kind of like week to week, you know, he's like really far off. Still, of course, you know what I mean. Anybody that says it's week to week. They're nowhere near playing. Yeah, the yeah. fact that they were like in week one, week two, or whatever, and they're just like, yeah, like he hasn't been cleared yet. You're like, oh, this is bad news if yeah. they put him back in the lineup soon. Because yeah. that's what happens. It's it's not like necessarily the back and the knee are two different things. It's like when you have a weakness in your knee or your quad yeah, or you your calf. Overcompensating right. for other parts. And, and that's and why you have guys that they have a calf injury in the preseason and then they have hamstring problems all fucking year. Yeah. You know what I mean? It. That's definitely a concern. I just think that was dumb on their part. Yeah. But, well, I mean, that, in my opinion, I don't. After seeing what Wentz did his rookie year, just how fucking amazing it was. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a sucker for flash and like upside, but I, I can't imagine that they would if if they hypothetically needed to choose between one of the two, like long term. You have to go. Wentz. Well, I also think this about Wentz. I mean, <clears throat> he's on his rookie deal now, right? Yeah. He was amazing last year. <clears throat> he was really bad. He was not good this year. So you're paying for his rookie year, basically. You're paying well, for his rookie, rookie year. year. Sucked. Think I about it. His second year was good. Oh, who were his weapons? Alshon Jeffrey. Last year, you're talking. Nah. About? Zach Ertz. Well, I'm talking last year and this year. Uh. Ertz is a stud. Yeah. Yeah. You do realize if you're gonna keep Wentz, you have to pay him top dollar money. Yeah. You're not going to be able to keep the right guard in the center. Alshon Jeffrey, he's okay. Probably can't keep him at his salary. Who's his running backs? There's a lot of things you have to go they into there. Nick Foles, I feel like Nick Foles. He's going to have to get somebody paid brought, too, Somebody brought this up on Twitter, and I don't know who it was, and I wish I could give him credit. Doug Peterson coaches a better game when Nick Foles is the quarterback and when Carson Wentz isn't. He's comfortable with that RPO. That, that's what Peterson wants to do. Mm. How good has Peterson been with Foles as opposed to Wentz? He won a fucking Super Bowl. This is true. And they had a lot of things break right for them last year. It seemed like Peterson was ahead of his time because he was so aggressive, you know? And yeah. like he was going for everything on fourth down and, and going for mm -hmm. two and, yeah. you know, all this shit. And everything break, broke right. And I think Bro someone, everything. someone was saying it. It's one of the announcers was actually saying it like during the game this weekend, the Eagles game. And they're like, yeah, it seems like everything this year is breaking the other way. Well, yeah. they. All, I mean, they lost their... They the lost the, the, game. The, the quarterback coach. They lost the offensive coordinator. Clearly, Peterson was not. Maybe he wasn't the offensive genius we thought he was. Maybe it was Frank Wright or it was John D. Filippo. That's the worst part about all this is like when you look at situations and, you know, one piece goes missing or like something just changes year over year. You really like don't know. No, you have no blame. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you'd be like, no, oh, this. You know, you know, for every time there's a good season, there is everyone just talking about, oh, this guy's a fucking genius. This mm -hmm. guy's a genius. Blah blah yeah. blah. Someone moves, and then you use that piece as your analysis, and you're just like, dude, I don't. Know. Not every single person is the reason that this guy had an MVP type fucking year. Yeah, it pisses me. Well, that, was, that was Adam Gase a few years ago. Right. Exactly. And now like oh, with with the Broncos, guy. three yeah. fucking yeah. subpar yeah. seasons in Miami. It's just yeah, like, exactly. Ben, but they ben, were saying he was like the next great guy. Right. They said that about Ben, ben well, McAdoo. He was well, the quarterbacks coach for Aaron Rodgers. I never. Said I could that. be the quarterback coach for Aaron Rodgers. Same thing with the fucking Titans. Yeah. So you had the guy Matt Lafleur or whatever. Matt Lafleur, yeah, exactly. For Matt Ryan exactly. Goes over to L.A. last year, and it's like, yeah, you can keep saying that he like did all this shit, but he was also with Shanahan first, and then mm -hmm. he was with McVay in yeah, L.A. with the Titans. Now he's in Tennessee as their coach, and probably calling plays and shit. But like, that didn't look too good. My point is, like, you look at the Matt Ryan season, and every single time someone wants to associate it with it, they want to give credit to Kyle Shanahan and Matt Lafleur and this and that and the other thing, and it's like, okay, but not like every single person. No, can be like put on the resume. Oh, I I made an MVP quarterback. You know, exactly. fucking pisses me off. We bike, we so bike. We're gonna end tonight's episode with uh with a fan favorite segment. Call this Manduel. 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 Woo! He nice. threatens to fire me. That's good. If Iz gets emotional, it's only because his quarterbacks have combined for about four points at half. Yeah, L we're uh, literally halftime is just starting right now for the Monday Night Football so, game. So, just a quick recap of next week's E Town Get Down Championship. Joe is blowing George out of the water. George has OBJ and Gurley. We have no idea if either of them are going to play. The rest of his team is fucking trash. So uh, this is this is Joe's league to lose at this point. What were we doing? Oh, Manduel, Manduel. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do uh, a, a good Manduel this week. Stephen A. Smith did something. F it's a hot topic. Yeah, Stephen A. Smith did something fun this weekend, and I feel like this needs to be its own discussion. 
Stephen A. Smith was doing a breakdown for the NFL prior to the Thursday night football game. I'm not sure why they have him talking about football. I'm not sure why they have him even on the yeah. on the network talking about sports in general. But he was sitting there with, uh, who was it, Teddy Bruschi? And Teddy Bruschi and uh, Kellerman. It was on first Keller, take. Max Kellerman, yeah. Oh, God. Kellerman. So Stephen A. Smith, it was him, Stephen A. Smith and what's his skip? It's not there anymore. But yeah, yeah. they're like literally professional Fox. trolls. That's like what they are. They're hired to troll they people. They get paid to do. Exactly. So Stephen A. Smith comes on and he's talking about the matchup and he says... One, that he's, he's really, you know, looking forward to seeing Spencer Ware play. <laughs> Spencer Ware was ruled out like days before he said that. Now he moves on from that and he says after Spencer Ware is going to ground and pound for the night, he's looking forward to the tight end for the Chargers, Hunter Henry, who tore his ACL in August. <laughs> uh, face off with Derek Johnson, who is a free agent and was a former Chiefs linebacker. I don't know. When did he retire? Two years ago? No, he actually was on a team, I think, this year and then got cut. But not by the Chiefs. No, not by the Chiefs, no. So okay. he was just completely wrong. So, yeah, he was wrong on about, like, 17 different points. And I saw some tweets about people, like, picking out everything he was wrong on in that statement. You saw Tay Bruschi's face, and you saw Max Kellerman's face. They were just like, what is this psycho doing? I'm also looking at the San Diego Chargers on offense, and I'm thinking about Hunter Henry and the way that he's played this year and as effective as he's been. He's going up against Derek Johnson, and I got to keep my eyes on that. I got to keep my eyes on that. Hunter Henry and the way that he's played this year. He's going up against Derek Johnson. I got to keep my eyes on that because I'm looking at it from the standpoint... But as Stephen A. Smith would tell you, he works like five jobs. He's up all night. Yeah. The, the, you know what? If you're going to work so many jobs and do them all no, your shit terribly. Yeah. Like, you know what? Cut cut a few of them out of your regime and get cracking, Stephen A. Smith. Stay off the weed. Uh, the crack. Naturally, we got to do a man duel about this segment. We got Derek Johnson. We got Hunter Henry in the octagon. I'm going to do my best uh, Bruce Buffer um, announcing voice here. I'm about to walk out of the studio. Probably. Oh, it's going to be probably pretty bad. I haven't practiced it at all, so I'm just going to get the flag ready. If it's not good, we can just cut this out, so that's what's even better about it. Okay, so we already know we're cutting it out. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> what we got here? We'll go Hunter Henry first. Standing in the blue corner at six feet, six inches tall, 250 pounds, Hunter Henry. Don't fucking smile. What do you guys think? Is that good? I think you should read the next one. <laughs> You're so fucking fired. He's choking. <laughs> and fighting out of the red corner, standing at six foot, three inches tall, 242 pounds, from Kansas City, Missouri, Derek Johnson. That was a pretty good voice if your goal was to get fired. I was just going to do my best job, and we'll see what happens. Sounds like your fantasy season. <laughs> dead. Zam. So is mine. Yeah, dead. We, we're all fucking left for dead. That's embarrassing. The three best teams get left for dead. So I fucking hate myself. So, we're going to debate this. Okay, so Hunter Henry is young gun, 23 years old. Bio, what is it again? Six foot six, 250 pounds. That's a big boy. That's a big, big boy. Derek Johnson is 35. He's 36. 36. Jesus. What's Christ. his uh, bio? He is 6'3, 245. <clears throat> okay, so a few things flash off the screen here for me. First is is the reach for Hunter Henry. 6'6, right? A lot taller. Mm -hmm. Second, the age. 12 years younger. However, I think the biggest factor is the position that they play. Hunter Henry, a tight end, and a receiving tight end at that. Mm. Derek Johnson putting his helmet to helmet. Hitting motherfuckers. The leading Kansas City Chiefs tackler, right? History? Yeah. Franchise so over history. Over a thousand leader. tackles. It's not saying much. Guy was a fucking stud. Over a thousand tackles? It's really not saying much when you're the leading tackler on the Chiefs of all time. Go ahead. Savage at Texas. Four time Pro Bowler for the Chiefs. I think he's a heavy favorite in this fight. Derek Johnson. I think Derek, I think DJ, even at a 12 year disadvantage. I'm going to throw the odds at this. I'm going to throw the odds at Derek Johnson minus 245. So we can get Henry at what? 175, 185? Yeah, something in that range. I don't say, see there's any way that fucking Hunter Henry, he goes down at practice with a non contact ACL injury. That's mm -hmm. just going to happen in the octagon. Mm -hmm. Hunter Henry ain't built for the grit. I'm going to go with the youth. Uh, I'm going to go with Hunter Henry. I'm going to say that, the, that even though that leg's a little fucked up, 
It's a young leg. Maybe a roundhouse kick. Six foot six. So with you're a torn gonna, ACL. So, so you, <laughs> yeah. So your argument he, is that his ACL. ACL is so bad that that he's gonna win with a roundhouse kick with that ACL. Fling his leg and the ACL is since it's already fucked up. It's just gonna give it that extra, you know, that little. <laughs> I tell you what, that's not a bad boom, argument. Right Bam! It's fucking out. Nah, it's pretty good. It's a hot take. What you got? I'll tell you what I got. I had Hunter Henry, but let me tell you something. <laughs> change your mind. <laughs> I couldn't change my mind more if I tried. I'm All laying right. the juice. Okay. Okay? Derek Johnson will kill Hunter Henry. Kill him. He's a bum knee. He can't move around. He can't do the physics. He can't do... Uh, I don't even know what I just said. I just he said just he's cannot roundhouse kick him. With a torn ACL on one knee. But we're going to assume he's semi-healthy at this point. He's oh, back. is that what we're going to do? He's back at practice today. Yeah. Fight camp starts now. Six weeks is the fight. You get six weeks out. Well, Derek Johnson's been cut for a team for about 14 weeks now, so he's hungry. He wants something. The only thing he's got is a man dual challenge. And the only man dual <laughs> challenge only that he has. He actually ha- will have another job opportunity. It says uh, co-host of this podcast after we fired Max for his Ooh, fucking Bruce Buffett odd. bullshit. Goodbye. <laughs> Good sayonara, bitch. Like that. Well, all in all, I'm laying the juice on uh, Derek Johnson because I don't trust a torn ACL from a tight end. I don't care if he's practicing or not. The fact that he went down with a non-contact, like you said, I actually, leads me to believe he's a pussy. I can't even honestly... Uh, leads me to believe might not have been he's a yeah, pussy. Yeah, no, I just threw that out there and kind of assumed. I feel like any of those preseason, like summer fucking torn ACLs are always like a non-contact. They don't touch each other in preseason. So we, we don't know if it was non-contact. Yeah. That's what we're going on. We know. We know that we think it is non-contact torn acl is not a good thing to be in in the octagon with therefore Derek johnson he hits people hunter henry catches passes like the argument you made is might catch a punch we might have to might catch a punch this is going to block be, that this is going to be the first time in the history of vegas that the odds have changed mid 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 fight I, I didn't know how to put that because like odds change all the time before the things actually happen Derek johnson's what minus four he was minus two four he was minus five two four Forty-five. We're gonna we're gonna double it now. We're gonna double down. Oh shit! He's minus four. Uh, we'll go minus four fifty. Yeah, we're at eighty-eight percent. I'm gonna still lay the juice. So then, does Derrick Henry go? I mean, um, not Derrick Henry. Stop thinking about Derrick Henry. Hunter, I love Derrick Henry. Pathetic fucking <laughs> fourth round pick. Hunter Henry. We, we're gonna boost those odds a little bit then, because I'll lay a little more money down. You don't have money to lay down. Yeah. Well, how much of that imaginary monopoly money can I put down? It's plus three ninety. Bet what all you want. Lose plus, your fucking mortgage. Plus three ninety. Yeah. I'll you bet against it. us, you're losing the mortgage. I put five hundred monopoly dollars. If me and him ever down, agree on something, so that's a you know you're right? wrong. Yeah. You know it's a fucking lock. Lock of the. What's bigger than a millennium? Is there a thing? Is that a thing? A giganum. I, I wish I could fucking fire you more than I already did. <laughs> it's a billion years. There's also a meganum, which is a million years. Okay, so this is a lock of them fucking meganum. <laughs> yeah, there throw you it go. on the throw it on throw it on the house. Derek Johnstein, it's over. By far, it's not even close. Since we're talking about, since you said Derek Johnson, and then you said Derek Henry, and you love Derek Henry for some reason, I want to talk about how he's ending this year, and I want to talk about 2019. Because well, I'm already ready for 2019 fantasy football. So am I. We all are. I'm ready to draft again. We're all done. I think so. E-Town get down. I, th- I think we should move the draft up to n- next week for next I need, year. I need a week. We are doing. You've uh, had a week. Wait, yeah. What are you talking about? You need a week. We are the ones that literally lost this weekend. Yeah. Don't fucking bring that week shit in here. I need a week. Oh, my God. You're a pussy. Wait, what did we do for draft picks next year? Remember, we we're doing something different with the Super Bowl picks or something? Oh, well, oh you weren't at the, you weren't at there, the meeting. Yeah. Remember, we're doing. Uh, I thought we were going to do a uh, like a pool. Yeah. We're doing. The props bet, Super Bowl props bet, points. How's that gonna work? We I don't think ten, we, I don't we think we guys. figured that out yet. No, we did because Steve McNanny like runs the pool every year. Or something. Oh, so we're trusting Ooh, Steve. So I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if we can trust Steve. Piece of shit. I can't fucking set a defense two weeks in a row. Yeah, just just for yeah, the you, record, you'd be in the championship. Just for the record, Steve McNanny was in last place. Didn't set a defense the last week of the regular season, which made him win. Had he set a defense. He would have lost, fell into second place seating, played me first round of playoffs. I would have beat him, and I would be playing Joe next week. I don't know if chip. it's not a lot. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a lock to beat Joe, but. No, but so it would have probably been a lot better. It would have been $1,700 you're richer. In the, you're in the dance. Now you're just. But for real, no question. This is another poll I put on Twitter. I said, who is more likely to get picked first in redraft leagues next year? Regular one quarterback, not super flex. Mahomes or Henry? Not who would you take? But who is more likely, like, uh, the public, when you know when drafts come around and you know the gist of where guys are basically being picked? Mahomes or Hunter Mahomes? Henry? 
Derek, no, Derek Henry. Henry. Oh, Derek Henry. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> um, I mean, in the majority. Assuming Derek Henry has another, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, he goes like 18 for right? 95 going, and a touchdown next I'm week. I'm going Mahomes. Mahomes. I think Mahomes is going to be just, so overvalued by the public. So I, I, can put, I couldn't agree more, but that's why I think he goes. Well, yeah, more yeah than, I'm agreeing with yeah. you. Yeah. Mahomes is going to go so he's high. He's going to be yeah. the new Aaron Rodgers pick. Like everyone yeah. who picked I mean, think about if we're in if we're in if we were still in a one QB league with four points, I wouldn't take him before. For the fourth, third, yeah, I would, I would probably s- take him in the third. I wouldn't. I would start thinking about him in the fourth. Maybe. So that's yeah, that's yeah. what I had him at in the fourth. I just wouldn't take a quarterback. Depending on two QB league, I'm, yeah, I'm it's really a, it's intrigued a to know where he goes next year. And he's going to go in the first yeah, round. He's going to go early. Well, if Aaron Rodgers was a top ten pick this year, yeah. and there he always is, seven, there is a, seven. He went seven. I've seen him go. I've seen him go like five or six in some yeah, of the drafts too. Gonna. So if he was going there, and you couldn't have felt like that confident about Rodgers going into this year, no. you're going to feel really fucking good about Mahomes next year. You feel good about yeah, Locke. Two QB league. I don't see him going past the first round. I no know, way! I, I was. I I, I'm wondering if he's a top five pick. Is my question? Uh, probably not, just because there's too many of the skill guys. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. Top five, I wouldn't. End of round one, yeah. I just don't see me. Yeah, if I'm like the ninth or tenth, I take Mahomes and I take like a on the back. Yeah, I, I like would a, think like about a, him like around a Tom, there. Oh, whoever it is, I, I, you know, I, I don't have it in my head right now. I think his ADP. We'll, we'll will do probably, mock draft soon, but yeah, I, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a 2019 mock draft probably a week or two after this. NFL season wraps up. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I think Mahomes will end up, I think his ADP will probably settle in like the seven to eight range for super flex leagues next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting, which sucks because I'm not going to own him at that price. I just don't want to fucking draft a quarterback that early. No. Unless it's in a six point passing touchdown league, then. Yeah, then, I mean, you have to. Then we're talking. A little, yeah. little, little veer on, on, on our league. Mm-hmm. I, um, I was thinking about it today because I was watching my team implode. I have a pretty pretty difficult dilemma myself i think you do too keeper wise i got chubb nick chubb for an 11th guys for a 13th it's so hard to talk about keepers this early no i know i right I like now chubb. If, gun to my head you gotta you gotta take nick chubb yeah, you know you've you got. seen what yeah exactly you know what you got yeah. the browns are going up Redskins are kind of going down. Redskins, Plus, there's quarterback situations. You don't even know who the, if they're coaching. And guys just had an yeah. infection in his in his. Yeah, his you didn't knee. like to hear about that. So yeah, I, there's a, those, I mean, yeah, Chubbs are really. No, I, I'm just. I'm, I'm almost I'm, nervous about mine now too. Between you got fuck, Galladay and. Uh, no, no, you have Galladay. Ah, uh, not Galladay. Um, I have Carry on Johnson and Aaron Jones. Johnson, Johnson, right, right, right. Now it's like you know anything like if Blunt gets cut and then who knows what happens with Riddick. Like if KJ goes into the year next year as like the guy. Then you keep him. I like him. Yeah, but, you have enough time at least. But I thought Aaron Jones was going to be that guy. Now I'm like, you know, the way this ended, because injury was a concern. I didn't know if he was going to be able to hold up for an entire year. He's he's he, of a smaller stature. He didn't. He and didn't. Uh, and he didn't, you know. And, I mean, that's not really my biggest concern. But now, again, he just, like, kind of opens the doorway for yeah. something else to happen. You don't know what's going to happen with that offense and coaching. And you know, Mike McCoy is going to be fucking over there next year. And I'm like, okay, now I can't, <laughs> now I can't take it. You're running up the middle a lot. Yeah. And, uh I feel like we there was other people too, but I don't I don't know. But like of those two, yeah, like two weeks ago, Aaron Jones was the lock for my keep. Now it's like okay, maybe now, yeah, now, now you got to think about it more. Yeah, so I mean, keep. I get people asking me keeper questions. I'm like, dude, ask me in August. They're like, we have to pick. Yeah. by the seven by I know. week seventeen. I'm like, what? I didn't mean to bring it up. Now I was just looking at my team, like in in the draft that we had, and I was like, damn, I have like a real well, you real have, you dilemma. like have Galladay as an option too even though I you're have not going to Chubb do Gall- I'm not keeping Galladay but I have Chubb Galladay well, and Geis as an Galladay. option that sucks because Galladay's going to Galladay's going to end up being uh he's going to be like the number one guy there soon I know but I, I just mean for drafts next year he's probably going to be uh I would say he goes in the third round next year a redraft leagues third round huh yeah mm. I'll put money Four. right now that his ADP gets to the third round I guess when all sudden done yeah yeah it will I guarantee you rise but I think there. Chubb would be Golden Tate's Golden Tate's I think gone. Chubb would be round two yeah yeah oh no I'm saying the value is definitely no, yeah, Chubb yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just no, saying I, I, overall yeah. it sucks yeah. you gotta let up yeah. one of those guys yeah. it legitimately sucks I would love to trade one for like a pick but that's not how we work so it's, yeah. so it's I'm gonna be sitting here with my dick in my fucking ass <laughs> yeah. So yeah, sit on totally. it. What do you mean totally? You don't have a second round pick. Shut the fuck up, Go ahead. <laughs> dude. You're fucked. That's why I'm keeping. I mean, Mitch it's a good Trubisky, problem to have. So. I'd rather have our it problem is good, than, than not. It is a good problem, problem to, have. to have. So I kept Corey Davis the whole year. I didn't play him once. So yeah, I got luck. Like I remember, I, I kept Andrew Luck was my 15th round keeper this yeah, year. That's a great keeper. Yeah, that's a good keeper. In the beginning of the year, it looked shaky, and I was like, ah, oh, this kind of sucks. But like by the third week, it was like, yep, look, yeah, all system fucking go. And sure enough, the the week you need him, yeah. he. Do you he didn't Mar- look good two weeks ago either against Jackson. Uh, he wasn't drafted. No, no, yeah, he, he was. He was drafted. He was drafted? Yeah, yeah. and that's why I was yeah. like, fuck, I didn't realize when oh, I, that's when I right. traded that's him. Right. I didn't that's draft right. him. Yeah. I didn't yeah. draft him. Someone else had but him
I have to check that. I think no, because I drafted Marlon Mack in the last round. I believe I was a write in this year. No, last year, uh, year before this year, because he was drafted this year by Steen in the twelfth. Okay, so he's keeper option for Deech. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got James Conner, so he's not going to keep Mack. True. Yeah. There's just so much that can go on. Like the the Colts could add another running back. The could add Love Bell. There's some good keepers this year. George Kittle. Fuck. That's a killer. Oh fuck. Fucking thirteenth. Fucking Steen. Fucking bitch. (laughs) Fuck Steen. He's really he's gonna win second place. He's gonna win 150 bucks. No, he's gonna win 50 bucks. 400. Nick Foles was oh. drafted. Well, he wins his money back. Yeah. I mean, once you get rid of the money, you, it's all profit from here on. I out. completely agree. Nick Foles in the 16th. So I don't think anybody's keeping Nick Foles in the 16th. Never know. Damn, dude, Baker Mayfield. I think you should Baker. Just, Baker's a good keeper. It's a good. A keeper. lot of good keepers. On Joe here, had. Joe well, I got lucky with Chubb too. Because I drafted Chubb and I dropped him. And then you picked him back up. And I oh, picked yeah. him back up. Fuck that. I spent up. the rest of my fab on him. Had to. Had to do it. There was no choice. Had to do it. Had to do it. I remember you texting in the in the group chat. You were like, "How do you let him pick them and pick him up?" If George, George it, was like, "Oh, I didn't see it." Joe was like, "No, nah, I didn't need him." It was like, it was it's like, bro, you never don't need a high end RB two running back. I you know he's getting twenty five carries. A something game. will happen to one of your running backs every three weeks. Something happens to one of your running backs. Like you, you need as many running backs as you can possibly get. The problem with our league is like we keep raising the prices. And the people that don't care seem to care less and less every year. Yeah. Which is unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. You think like at, when it gets to like 400 and 450 $500, like they would start caring more. But it's like... Not even remotely. Steve yeah. doesn't even set defenses. So oh, Motherfucker. You would be playing for a championship next week. I know. And you would be too, Max, if you just held on a little bit. Fuck yeah, this. I know. I'm so over this. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm really upset because my team is outscoring the entire league right now. The entire league. It doesn't. And mean, it means it, nothing. It's, it's completely Not irrelevant. one of us cares. Just completely, yeah. Not even one of them cares. Oh, um, they shouldn't. This What it, happened this week? Yeah. It was the worst fantasy week I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. Just overall injuries and people who were scoring. Cam and Breeze have fucking... Five combined. I needed 40. I ain't even come close. Yeah, quarterbacks the past three weeks have been a complete nightmare. Like, the, the guys that you expect to go out there and fucking be your, your superstar on your team. Yeah, Mahomes hit two low scores back-to-back. Yeah. Luck went sub-10. Adam, to yeah. the last Adam three. Thielen Holmes went luck, to the dirt. Goff fucking back, back-to-back yeah, back shitters. Thielen went to the dirt. There was, there was a lot of people that went right into the dirt. Tell you what, though. Dalvin Cook has looked fucking I, yeah you had that um that like, poll. you you had a poll yeah. and i saw i agreed with you yeah when you yeah. said that I, I people were picking my, joe mixon you yeah, fucking, fucking kidding me because because it was a, joe mixon was coming Recent, off a big recency day. bias Dalvin yeah Cook i know. was coming off like an okay day and i was just Recent, like recency bias dalvin cook is 20 a, times that's why, the that's why i wanted to make sure because i knew people would just disregard it. that's why i made sure i put the word vacuum like in a vacuum yeah who would you rather have because i knew these idiots would just play joe mixon exactly and that's what they did they bit they bit right into it dalvin cook still like where do i don't where do you take him next year though and drafts the way he's finishing like off he's right gonna now, go in the same spot I mean, he went this year again probably late second he went yeah he went uh, he went earlier than that i think no i think he went late second yeah. i think he had i think deech took him on the way back yeah, he did he was one pick behind yeah. me i tried to get him in the mm-hmm. fucking third Stud. yeah oh yeah he's great but i think he's you gotta stunned. factor that yeah. in now though you do like, you have to you, know? you so, have to count on him missing three games dude fournette like where did okay where does fournette go next year oh he drops he drops he drops i don't yeah, think i don't think i i don't think i even look his way until he's, like, he's not on my board right now, no, right now. He's, he's one gotta, guy be like fifth no, round he's, he's one board. guy i don't look at unless he like falls to me yeah if i can get him in the fifth with, depending where i'm drafting there's some guys there's who just like value is not even a thing it's just like off the board yeah and fournette like seems to be one of those guys for me at least he, yeah because 100%. who knows what the hell's gonna even happen in jacksonville next year with their coaches their quarterbacks i don't know what the hell's going on there yeah i just mean from like a injury scared perspective i'm not one who like you know you can't predict injuries but at some point you have to be like well, certain he, guys are prone because i came into this year really high on fournette and i'd always say like my analysis is always just like listen if you're risk averse don't take fournette obviously because that's the only downside to him right now he's gonna get 25 carries in the game easy you know every and, game uh, is he soft you think is fournette soft you think he milked that like hammy injury all season Dude, a ten week hamstring injury. It's hard to argue that he's not pretty long. It's a long hamstring. That is injury. a long. I feel like there's for other guys that like that have hamstring injuries and they go, ah, I'm gonna play. Yeah, they pushed him it's back hurt. too early. I knew it too. That first week back when they were like, they, he didn't even get like a full practice in before going back. I was like, dude, yeah. you need like Run three right or four in. full practices off a hamstring injury. I mean, yeah. if you have Fournette in your championship this coming week, Jeez. God bless you, because I don't think he's gonna be getting many carries. So. I would start fucking Jalen Richard over him. Stop. I tell you, though, the first two rounds are stacked, and good for Steve. You're fucked. I was looking at all the drafts 
basically like the ADP of the first three rounds of this year, there weren't that many busts. There really weren't that many bad picks. There were first two rounds? The first three. You first three? I mean, you have to be... It's hard to strike out. Do you count a Fournette injury as a bust? Team, I would say like it was David Johnson, Fournette. Dude, the second round and the third round were like the third round especially with the wide receivers that were there between like Thielen. Yeah, I got Hill. Yeah. I think. Thielen, Hill, Hill, like Evans, yeah. Diggs. But even like, like Tyreek Hill, look at him. He's boomer bust all year. Right, but third, but third rounds, it's like you can't, you're not going to expect first round production all the time. No. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know. Thielen I, I, in the third it's, round? It's like Mixon. Mixon, C Mac were in the second round. Like a lot of the Julio. Yeah. That whole second round was just like the Julios, Michael Thomases, and guys like that. You know, there were like you couldn't yeah. really miss in that in that section. No, I I can't think of one that was do you think Rogers was a bust? I mean, he was drafted seventh uh, overall well, in our league. Yeah, I was thinking more of just like a a regular a regular one quarterback draft. Yeah, gotcha. I mean quarterbacks I, I think don't over, even say I, I was thinking our league, you're thinking overall. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I was I thinking you. overall, yeah, just like regular ADP. But yeah, I mean, dude, outside of like outside of injuries to guys like Dalvin Cook and Fournette. There weren't, yeah. like, I can only really name David Johnson, who disappointed from a performance base. Yeah. Right? Like and we're, we're not counting Le'Veon Bell, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Why not? I guess you would, yeah. Because he was Dude, definitely taken in the top three rounds of every single draft. He was taken number one in our league. Yeah. Which is mind-blowing. Amazing. I mean, what about Dalvin Cook? Was in the, you could. Well, I just said outside of the guys who missed a lot of time, were there any, like, performance-based busts besides David Johnson? There's no way that, like, year over year, that doesn't normally happen. I feel like there's usually a lot of players I can't think. that kind of suck it up. But Odell. That's yeah, close. That's that more borderline. injury related. Borderline. He's missed two games. He wasn't but he also touchdown didn't productive score in touchdowns the beginning. for like, what, seven weeks? Well, that's what I'm saying. How, yeah. but how was he performing? He was like, okay. Yeah, but he not what you expected from Odell. As but J- like George a, got him at like pick 18 in our draft, didn't he? The yeah. second round. George Law, George got Gurley at four and Odell on the way back. It's unbelievable. I know, dude. I think about that all the time. Like, imagine I just Devonta didn't Freeman take David Johnson fucking, and got Gurley. Fucked instead a there. lot of people this year. Devonta Freeman, yeah. Uh, yeah, he could probably. Yeah, I forgot about Freeman. I mean, yeah. it, it's just a lot of injury-based ones. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. normally I feel like there's I'm a lot of I'm looking at our league. Like, like, Sean McCoy shouldn't have been drafted in the third round. No, no I would I would almost never, put that as injury fucking based. I would have never no. drafted Sean McCoy. Yeah. He's one of those guys from just off the board. What about Diggs in the third? That's a good pick. I wouldn't say he un- underperformed based on where he was really picked. I picked yeah, him early compared that. to where his ADP was, too. I almost you know? took him in the second. So. Like he, yeah. I mean, he had a lot of fucking good games, but he also... I mean, there were plenty of games where he went like 8 for 70, and it's not like yeah. great, but like he was a really no, good pick. Yeah, well, for a third round pick. pick yeah, like you, you, can, get, you, you can, can do a lot it. worse. I mean, like had like Larry Fitzgerald went into the third, or like Derrick Henry went into the third, yeah. J.H.I., like any of these guys, you'd be like huge bust performance base, you know? But there weren't a lot of guys like that this year. And what was funny was... I remember, I think we, we, we've 100% touched base on this. Steve took, in our league, Steve took Kareem Hunt fifth. I was like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Mm-hmm. But for the whole year, until he blasted the woman in the face. So he gave it over. If Big Dogs did any of the following for you throughout this entire season, made you laugh, helped you win a single fucking fantasy game, Helped you lose a single fantasy game. You had Baekwon on your fantasy team. Or if you didn't have Baekwon on your fantasy team, you fall under any of those five categories. You have to go to BigDogsFantasy.com immediately. Go to the shop section. Put at least three things in your cart. And buy them shits. If it's under three, you're a piece of shit. You don't, then you don't listen for the reality of it. You just listen to listen. The go buy Go buy. This Look at this shit. In this economy, now's the time to buy. The economy's booming. We out. Goodbye. <laughs> Blood it. <laughs>